everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of Wolves Weekly. I'm Michael Collins, joined today by Western Oregon head men's basketball coach Brady Bergeson. And coach, we're five games into the conference season. Uh, you guys are in the middle of the pack with the two and three record, won the games at home, lost the games on the road. Uh, talk a little bit about your team's performance over the first five games of the league play. Uh, well, like you mentioned, Michael, we, uh, we won our two games at home here in December. We, we, a couple of come from behind victories, hard fought ones against Northwest Nazarene and Central Washington. And uh, since then, some time's passed. We've gone on. It's we're into, into uh, the January league schedule now, and the bulk of it. And uh, we've we've returned from the holiday break uh, with three tough road trips in a row. And our guy, our group came in and found out exactly why it's so difficult to win on the road in this league, and it's very tough. Um, having said that, you know we're an inexperienced team. It's well known. We're young, uh, and. We're gaining those experiences. And the only way to, 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 to uh, become the experienced team is by going through some things like that. Now, that doesn't mean that we have to lose in order to learn lessons. But um, you know, we're maintaining a process-oriented approach with this group. And uh, you know, I think that the lessons being learned right now have a lot to do with just uh, how consistent you have to be. And the effort level, the toughness level, the execution, the detail of what we do has got to be uh, at, a, at a much more consistent rate. Um, I like our group's mentality right now. Uh, they've got a refuse to get down sort of mentality. And so uh, I believe in our, in our group uh, that way. And I believe in our mental toughness. I believe in our aptitude. And I think that uh, we'll be able to respond from this now. Um, you know, when and where that'll be, I don't know. Uh, but I, uh, again, I look for incremental uh, improvements based on you know the practices and the experiences that have gone by here. And you mentioned the experiences. Uh, obviously, last weekend l lose two games in Alaska, uh, come back and had your first practice yesterday uh, with a big weekend here at home coming up with Western Washington Simon Fraser. What did you see from the team uh, yesterday in practice? Well, I, I thought it was one of our best practices of the year, which is encouraging. You know, coming off of a long road trip and a red eye flight. So, uh, number one, you know, we've got to address and have been addressing the rebounding issues. We've been out-rebounded now a number of games, um, and that definitely hurt us on the road trip into Alaska. Uh, our offensive execution is not where it needs to be. And then there's some, uh, some details defensively that we're just not consistent enough with, and I thought that um, the group came in with tremendous energy, and they were eager to learn and they were coachable despite the fact that, you know, it doesn't always feel good to learn these lessons. And the Alaska road trip is always tough. And coming up Thursday, you maybe have your stiffest test to date. You're playing a defending national champion, Western Washington. Uh, they're going to climb in the rankings. They'll be a top three team by game time on Thursday. Uh, haven't lost all year. Um, but you guys played them tough last year. Won one game, lost another very close one in overtime, I believe. Um, just talk a little, bit about, a little bit about the excitement of playing the defending national champion. Well, it's the kind of thing, you know, uh, your guys typically get a little bit more up for. Uh, whether you like it or not, um, some teams and some, got, you know, that some kids want to, um, are extra motivated by those things. And look, uh, no, extra motivation won't hurt. Uh, they're a tremendous team. They deserve everything they're getting right now. And they're uh, undoubtedly one of the best teams in the country, as far as I can tell. So, uh, you know, for us, uh, it's business as usual. And uh, it's us being us and trying to do whatever we're doing a little bit better. Um, that's the approach. Uh, I expect a lot of energy. It certainly is exciting for our kids to have that opportunity to come in and have them come into our place. Uh, but. You know, we approach every game uh, and we expect to win. So we'll, ex we'll approach Thursday, you know, without any change as far as that goes. Uh, we'll get, have a game plan ready and clear and keep it as simple as possible and let our guys' uh, aggressive mentalities hopefully take over. And again, it's the first home games that we'll have here since the beginning of December. Mm -hmm. um, and after three tough road losses, talk a little bit about the uh, benefits of being at home here after uh, a rough road trip. Well, I think it. it gives us an opportunity to kind of regroup a little bit and get centered. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's some great things about being on the road where, you know, you eat together all the time. You're, you know, you're sharing a room together. You travel together on the planes and the buses and things like that. Uh, that, that tends to galvanize your team. And at the same time, it's nice to sleep in your own bed. It's nice to come back and, 
you know, see your friends and, and have a little bit of uh, normalcy to your life as well. So I think our guys are ready, you know, to, to, to be home, and, and I think it'll center us a little bit and get us back on track. Well, thanks a lot, Coach. Uh, the Wolves host Western Washington Thursday at 7, and Simon Frazier Saturday at 7.30. We'll hope everyone can come out and uh, watch a couple of Wolves wins. Uh, Coach, thanks for joining us, and thanks for watching Wolves Weekly. Go Wolves! Yeah.